best stewardship person in my in my life. I'm sure we've all had those times when we know we could have done better. But at the times I do better in, in my stewardship, whether I'm giving my time or I'm giving my resources and funds, my life is always better and I'm always blessed each time I surrender to Christ and, and help with his ministry. And stewardship time is, is difficult for a lot of people, I know, uh, just from my own life and my friend's life, that it's a struggle. But think of us as stewardship as like a savings and loan. Jesus is savings and loan. He gives us everything. Just as it says in Peter, St. Peter said in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, his divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. God gives us everything. He gives us life. He gives us blessings. He gives us talents. But unlike a real savings loan, he only asks for 10% back. Try to get, ask your savings loan if they would accept only 10% back on the loan you get from them. And I don't think so. God is a loving God. He, he blesses us whether we give back or not. But he would like his help. We depend on him for lots. But he depends on us to be his legs to go out and fulfill our mission that we have in this church. My wife, Belinda, and I and she's in Phoenix at a conference for her work. We came to Hilldale several times. I knew Skip before through Emmaus, and we felt at home here. Let's say our worldly home away from our spiritual home. So we joined last week to be brothers and sisters with you. So remember, that Jesus saves, and if you want to have a plan, that's the difference between a dream and a goal, is a plan. So remember, God loves you, but he needs your help. He's depending on you. All time, every time, God is good. <laughs>